You know, some of the other I was thinking about, you know, you participated in a, a Dylan tribute uh, for his 30th anniversary. It did a, a very, uh, it's my favorite thing on the record, that version of Foot of Pride that you did. Well, I did that because I thought it was one of the funniest songs ever <laughs> written. And I was listening to it almost every day because it made me fall down laughing. <laughs> you know, didn't he make it to the top? Well, yeah, but then he dropped. <laughs> a philistine is what she is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some really, really funny lines in that thing. The uh, well, what, what did Dylan have an impact on you? Well, did you feel like it was different area? Completely different area. You know, more surreal images and metaphors and similes. Yeah, and, a lot of and, words. <laughs> and that kind of voice, uh, more story-oriented, story oriented, like scenes, um, moments, you know, little vignettes, trying to make little movies. What about, obviously, another songwriter uh, you, you inducted him into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know, Leonard Cohen. You know, talk about Leonard's work and, and, and Leonard as a writer and, and um, you know, how you, you see that and what it, what it means Well, he's to not you. rock and roll. No. By any, any stretch of the imagination, but what a great lyricist, my God. You know, continuously wonderful. And you've performed, and you know, and he always seems wise. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's you know, the people in my songs are not wise by, <laughs> by any stretch. They're like in the middle of a battle. You know, I always liked uh, thought things were better when there was conflict. Well, I was thinking about the song earlier. We were talking, you know doing the things that we want to, and, you know, mm -hmm. Scorsese and St Sam Shepard, you know, you're kind of talking about, you know, your relationship with artists like that in terms of, you know, creating these characters like Johnny Boy and Mean Streets and mm -hmm. these people who find themselves in circumstances, you know, that are, that kind of ultimately spin way out of their control and they're kind of hanging on for their lives, you know, at the same time doing it with a certain amount of flair and appeal, you know, Talk about you know the the you know the kind of um, uh, you know sometimes like a piece of metal caught in a magnet, way past your ability to control, whether you know it or not. And usually, someplace in the song, you f they find out one way. Like Johnny Boy, for instance, who. Uh, I lie, I was telling you before when we were down, so I love when he takes his hat off at the end, shakes his head, and, and all the hair comes down. Street guy. The uh, People with BAs in English appreciate <laughs> 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 that, exactly. ki that kind of stuff. So, okay, I can play both sides of the street and maybe the third. <laughs> 